Hey guys, it's Morgan, and today we're going to go through on how I kind of do my workflow for editing out testimonial videos. So we're gonna start by, I've got my audio clip, my video clip here. We're gonna drag that and drop it onto our, onto our timeline. Keep existing settings. And now we're going to, I'll call out the hotkeys I use to just give you an idea of exactly what keys I'm using. Just kind of uh, show you the workflow in general. So all this here, the, all these audio clips or uh, audio spikes here I know is not, it's just kind of like small talk between myself and Brian, getting him warmed up a little bit. And right here you'll see a, a big spike there. That is actually me clapping in the background. I do that to kind of sync up my audio file and my video file if I'm doing two separate sources, which I did for this one. Um, so right there I know it's going to be all of Dead Space, so I'm going to hit letter S. And then that highlights that first clip. I'm going to hit the letter V for ripple delete. Now we're ready to go with the good part of the clip. So I'm going to hit the uh, space bar. My name is Brian Doyle. I'm a dentist. I haven't come to Pine Hall since October 1st, 2019. So that's six months. All right, right there where you heard him say, I've been coming to Final Call since October 2019 for about six months. That was great, except the about six months part. When he says about six months, that's really going to date the video in like a year from now. So in, for example, in a year from now, six months ago is six months from the future currently. So that's not really good. That's really going to date your videos very quickly. So if you can just get them to say like, I've been coming for since October 2019. So I, all this here is when I kind of Tell him, like, oh, let's do this a little bit differently. Using the mouse, scroll in, alt, and scroll in mouse. And then I'm going to start right about there using my F and D key to move up a little bit more precisely. Hit letter S. Highlights the back part. Letter V. Okay, hit play, uh, space bar. Uh, my name is Brian Doyle. I'm a dentist here in Vincennes. I've been coming to Final Call since October 2019. Okay, space bar. Right there, we hit the letter S. Move up, because... You can see these uh, like low spots or blank spots in the audio. Basically, that's when I'm talking to him, asking him questions, and the high peaks of the audio are when he's answering it. So I know this is all going to be blank spot. So I'm going to go to there, hit the letter S, letter v, highlight, hi, hi, uh, highlight, hit the letter V, ripple delete, space bar again. Before I came to Final Call, I would run a lot and I would work out a couple days a week, um, but then my wife changed positions. I lost access to that gym and didn't know what to do and just kind of just hanging out for a while and then final call open and I thought it sounded exciting. All right. I usually let him talk for a little bit longer because as long as I'm not like really jumping in there, probably jumped in there about there. So I'm going to let that play out. I'm going to hit the letter S, zoom out with a mouse. And uh, you'll notice in here, we have a lot of blank space where he talks about his wife. Week, um, but then my wife changed the... So he probably was kind of thinking in his head, like, what exactly am I going to say here? How am I going to put this? And so I'm going to go ahead and delete out that blank spot here, especially. So we're probably going to start right there. F key, S. Uh, back with the letter D, back a few frames, letter S. I'm going to go ahead and delete that out. And also he has an um in here. Weak, um, but then my... So we're going to delete that um as well. So we have S there, um, space, S again, V. So now just kind of close your eyes and listen. That's what I do. I just, well, I will close my eyes and listen to it. Worked out a couple days a week, but then my wife changed positions. All, all right, that didn't, the first part sounded good. But then my wife changed position. That second part sounds, you know, it didn't quite fit, didn't feel quite right. So I'm going to kind of pull that out a little bit. See if we, that doesn't make a little bit more sense. Wife changed positions. I lost access. Not bad. Not great. But then my wife changed positions. I lost. We can live with it. I'll probably lower the audio clip just a little bit because he seems got louder right there. Wife changed positions. I lost access to that gym. And, and it might not sound exactly perfect right now, but by the time we add a little bit of background music, mess a little bit with the audio levels on that particular spot, I think it'll come out really good. It'll sound a lot better without the real awkward pause in there. So we'll, we'll call that good. Didn't know what to do and just kind of just hanging out for a while and then final call open. I thought it sounded exciting. All right. You'll also notice I scroll back and forth on the timeline. Basically, I'm just using the mouse. I'm going up to go left and down to go right. All right. So now we know all this is going to be dead space. Go ahead and edit right there. Ripple delete. We'll hit the blank spot there as well and hit V to ripple delete. 
What makes phone and call different than just working out by myself at just a Globo gym or something like that would be, I think, two things, just the variety of the workouts and also the camaraderie of it. Whereas before, whenever I would work out, I'd kind of do the same things over and over again and get bored and end up looking at my phone a little bit. And now we have so many people just cheering you on and everybody's there to make sure that you finish and hold you accountable for doing the whole workout. Okay, that's a good answer. So we'll go ahead and hit space bar to stop, S there. Move up to our next question. Go ahead and hit the letter S, ripple delete. Yeah, it's helped out a lot. In my profession, I bend over and I'm working a lot, and so I would have some back issues and back pain every now and then. My back feels a lot stronger, and when, when I run, I feel a lot of my stabilizing muscles, my hips and my knees, everything's a lot stronger from all the squats and all the different exercises that we do in here that I wasn't doing before. Space bar, S. I'm going to clean this clip up later. I'm not a big fan of how it starts. Yeah, it's helped out a lot in my profession. So I might clean up that a little bit later. Just We'll see how it sounds later on, but um, I can probably delete out that first part. Yeah, it's helped out a lot. Probably just like it helped out a lot and start with that, but we'll leave it for now. We're just getting a rough cut, kind of a rough idea of our questions, which ones we like, which ones we don't, and just kind of, <clears throat> just kind of clean things up a bit. Go to the final question here. Ripple delete V. Yeah, I think it's great for anybody, just the way that it's set up. You can do less weight, you can do different exercises, but it's always here to get you moving. No matter what fitness level you're at, I think there's a, a way they can tailor it to you where to work and get some really good results. Space bar, S, and that should be it. Okay. No? Yep, and that's it. So I'm going to delete that out. And now we've basically got a trimmed down interview with Brian. So we went from, you know, like a three or so minute of interview down to a minute and 22 second interview of nonstop talking. So that's a pretty good start. We probably won't use all of it. We'll kind of trim up some of the pieces we like, some of the pieces we don't like. And um, next video, we'll actually show you kind of how to throw in different clips, what we call B-roll. So basically this will be what we call A-roll is a, the actual interview of Brian. That'd be A-roll. And then B-roll would be the clips of him like working out, him, you know, doing kettlebell swings, running, all that good stuff. It kind of, it does two things. It makes it a lot more interesting for the viewer to watch the video. That's going to keep attention longer, you know, actually make them not just scroll on past. But also it hides that our cuts. So if you watch Brian's face right here, Weak, but then my wife changed the... you'll notice how like his head kind of jerks to the left and right a little bit because we deleted out a little bit of his answer as well as his body his body position posture changes a little bit as well. So when we add that B-roll, that's gonna hide a lot of our edits. So again, not only does it make it more interesting, but it also hides what we're doing in the editing.